Scalebound, Silent Hills, Doom 4, Star Wars 1313, Silent Hills, Titan, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Patriots, Prey 2, Shadow Realms, Star Wars Battle for 3, Legacy of Khan Dead Sun, Fez 2, Dawn Gate, World of Darkness, Fall Online, Bioshock for the PS Vita, NBA Live 13, Mega Man Legends 3. What do all these games have in common, you might be asking me? Well, it's quite simple actually. These games are all canceled video games. And in today's episode of Game Chat, we're going to be diving in to the brief but sad history of how canceled games have shaped and or affected the gaming industry as we know it today. So, obviously, um, I'm going to be focusing on games like Scalebound and Silent Hills as um, more of my point today because those are the recently canceled games that we most know about. Um, so, Scalebound was an Xbox One exclusive, uh, which was the last E3 for Xbox, and um, it gave us a look about Endless World of Dragons and how we can use them to our advantage and uh, become enemies and friends and foes with them. And uh, ultimately, Scalebound was recently cancelled by Microsoft Studios as a, I guess the project wasn't shaping out to be what it wanted to be. Um, otherwise, Silent Hills, which was shaping up to be a revival of the horror genre before, of course, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard came out. This game was a uh, co collaboration between uh, Master of Horror, uh, Master of Horror, sorry, I cannot say that right, Master of Horror, uh, Guillaume Del Toro, um, partnered with Kojima, Hideo Kojima from Kojima Productions before they split. And uh, ultimately, those two were combining with uh, the Norman character, uh, Reedus, Norman Reedus, from uh, The Walking Dead to bring us this never before seen horror game that would have been known as Sound Hills and obviously it took the world by storm when uh, PlayStation released that secret uh, PT teaser uh, for that game uh, back uh, I think that was two years ago now which is ridiculous and uh, a lot of people had high hopes for that game but it got cancelled but um it's it's important to take these and just delve upon what they do I mean, with games like Silent Hills, Skillbound, and even Star Wars 13, 13, the uh, canceled uh, Boba Fett standalone game that we got all that concept art for that never came to be, these games were really going to be something new and different that we haven't seen before, and uh, a lot of people were very excited about it. I can't tell you how many people on the internet were talking about, um, you know, games like Skillbound. Silent Hills being cancelled, and even Star Wars 13, 13 people were like, show us concept art, we want to see what the game could have been. And for it to be cancelled, or, you know, for the games to get rid of, it's it's quite upsetting. A lot of fans get really sad, but I think the worst feeling out of anybody, the worst feeling for anybody is for the developers. Because you have people that spend maybe hours upon hours, maybe more hours than us full-time employees, it, it works. Obviously, these people are full-time, too, but they spend maybe 72 hours out of their week, work week, um, every now and then, and uh, these people are working day and night, heart and soul in these games, probably getting not too many days off, not too many chill-off breaks every now and then, and for these projects to just get scrapped, it'd be like if you worked seven days at a pizzeria, and then they tell you that all the pizzas that you made were just thrown in the garbage because they felt like it. It's like all your hard work and all your dedication to this game just got thrown away, and it's got to be very demoting as a developer to, you know, to have a baby that you've created just get deported, or, you know, deported, or whatever they call it, and, um, it's just, I can't imagine what it must be like as a developer to just have so much time and effort into a game and have it become the nothing, and, uh, it's, and then obviously for the industry-wise, you know, it's, it's, they're losing money because... Doesn't matter whether the game would have sold or not, you know, somebody out there would have bought it. I, there's, I don't think there's ever a game in history that didn't, someone didn't one person buy. Especially a game like Silent Hills. Silent Hills would have made millions of dollars, and I mean millions of dollars. Skillbound, I don't know um, how much of the market was interested in that, but I do know it was a favorite for the uh, E3 presentation last year. But um, yeah, guys, I just I didn't want to talk too much today because I have some other fun projects that I'm working on right now that I want to spend more time on. But I want you guys to let me know in the comments below what you think about all this 
cancellations of games of late and um you know has anything been canceled that you're really hoping to come out for i know the star wars 13 13 game um i was excited um to hear about that becoming a thing and then i was even more heartbroken when silent hills launch i'm not much of a horror guy but like a typical gaming youtuber um i find it enjoy uh trying to play a horror game and you know just experience it live with you guys it's very fun Recording Resident Evil 7 Biohazard was one of the funnest experiences of my life just because I didn't expect the game to be what it was and it was fantastic. But, um, hey guys, obviously this episode is game chat, so, you know, chat with me in the comments below, chat with me on Facebook and Twitter. My handles are in the description below. So, uh, yeah. What do you guys think about these canceled games? And, uh, share with me what you think about. And, uh, you know, why not tell me in the comments below what games that you wish would have came out. But, uh, it's got to suck for developers to get game canceled. And, uh, yeah, so uh, that's all for today's video, guys. Uh, stay tuned tomorrow for some Pilot Battle for 1. And I just wanted to share a quick update on the Resident Evil 7 Biohazard tribute video. Um, that is currently in development. I'm hoping to have that done within the next four to five days. That's the timeline. It might be quicker than that, it might be later than that, don't quote me on that, but that's the goal. But that's all for today's video guys, stay tuned tomorrow for some more uh, videos, and uh, yeah, have a good one.